my beautiful family okay this is my second attempt i hope nobody calls because i don't want to have to restart over again okay so real quick i just wanted to comment on the those people that participated um in my last video where i asked um you know to tell me three things that um have affected you um during this uh, lockdown um so i just wanted to read a couple real quick so someone said um that i'm strong i'm here to give others truth and here to, I'm here for a reason to wake others. Uh, beautiful. Um, someone else said, fear and doubt can manipulate to no end. Uh, number two, the earth needed a break. And number three, great hope for our magical potential and ego, magical potential and ego shift. Um, another one said, the sound of silence. Um, number two, time seems to be slower for me. Uh, number three, Learn the importance of family, how important they are. Isn't that beautiful? Um, someone else said, I don't have the patience to be a teacher. I thought that was funny. Um, I need to be social and give hugs. <laughs> I love it. And uh, number three, um, lo love learning new things and trying them like dandelion tea, honey, and jam. I love it. I love it. Um, someone else said, I realized... Number one, I realize people are a lot more broken than I thought possible, considering how easily people allow their human rights to be stripped, stripped, especially on this hoax. Um, number two, found losing my routine deeply affects me on, defect, affects me a lot more than expected. Number three, seeing bigger difference between genuine humans and meat boxes, meat bots. Um, and someone else said, um, during the paradigm shift. Okay, number one, I found that if I meditate hard enough, I can feel the change in the vibrational frequencies. Uh, that's beautiful. Number two, that I was quick to judge in the previous era. Absolutely, I can agree um, for myself too. Number three, that I took life for granted in the previous era. It can't happen to me mindset. Spoiler, it does. I thought those are great. So if I didn't get to yours, I'm sorry, but um, just wanted to read a few of those to recap. But um, yeah, no, that was a... Uh, um, great participation. I love y'all so much. But no, really, I just wanted to make a quick video. It's hat day. I'm kind of tired today. I don't know why. All these ascension energies. But I um, wanted to make a quick video, um, go into basically, you know, what we can do. Um, Deepak Chopra gave some great advice. So I want to read that as well as Elizabeth April um, channeled the Galactic Federation. Um, so I wanted to um, share her message and include links below for you guys to check out. There's just so much going on right now and everybody is just again in this whirlwind of confusion trying to get through it. Um, you know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. I can assure you that. Um, I mean, I can't assure you that, but I feel that strongly. So let's dive in. All right. So ways to manage what we are feeling right now. Okay. Deepak Chopra, he wrote Metahuman. That's a book I want to get. Um, I'm a reader right now, like a total reader. <laughs> okay, so focus, focus on what we think, what we say, what we do. That can help us wrap our mind around what's going on in the world right now. Deepak says uncertainty is one of the driving forces of people's stress and anxiety. But right now, is uncertainty is all we have. Health uncertainty. Um, you know, every type of uncertainty that we possibly have. Um, nothing feels stable. How are we to balance that? Um, it's important to realize that all existence is unpredictable. Um, so when we surrender to uncertainty, we actually open the door to our spirit. Beautiful, right? Our mind is addicted to certainty. So we're addicted to, um, which is causing the panic in people, okay? So, you know, we're addicted to the, the COVID pandemic, the financial pandemic, um, you know, one is not without the other, uh, basically the, the, it's a stress pandemic. So, but we are ignoring, we are ignoring the stress crisis. Um, the data is showing that people, people that stress their immune system gets compromised. They get inflammation in the body. They secrete cortisol, um, which is that hormone, um, that wreaks havoc on the immune system. So, um, the stress hormone in our brains. Scientists are seeing that those are really getting sick, um, have the infl infla inflammatory storms, acute chronic inflammation. So science shows that deep breathing, mindfulness, meditation, some exercise, um, connecting emotionally with people um, that you care about, you know, watch your diet. I know we're all, I'm definitely 
I mean, totally eating so much more. Oh my God. Um, sleep well. Um, you know, all of this will reduce the likelihood of getting sick, period. Not just the coronavirus, but in general. Um, you know, be grateful, you know, um, be totally grateful. Um, you know, people, people aren't though. They're worried right now. Um, worrying about losing their job, feeling melancholy, but, um, not able to sleep all this emotional turbulence, you know, like I can be grateful this day. I can be happy this day, but then it's like scared, fear, all this, blah, blah, blah. So, but what is it? It's up to us. Um, Deepak says, it's up to us to meditate and find our center. You cannot depend on anyone else but yourself. You need to focus on emotional inti intimacy with yourself and your family and friends by listening to them, appreciating them, um, affection, showing you care, showing you're there for them, giving them attention. You know, people want to feel accepted, of course. Uh, don't try to change things that you can't change. Um, right now, there are things you can't change, period. First off, be grateful you are here. Mayday, mayday. Be grateful you're here. You're here right now in this present moment. It's beautiful. Um, the fact that you exist, um, if you aren't grateful for being here, I mean, then if you aren't, then hostility, grief, take on, you know, a different trajectory like why me you know making yourself the victim why me why me um so i think that's important stages of grief victimization anger hostility frustration helplessness resignation and finally acceptance yay so once we can get there i don't feel like we're ready to be off lockdown yet that's my humble opinion um you know i think I think we just need a little more time people need to keep going inward going inward you're seeing it on a mass level once you accept you will find peace. You will find peace once you come to acceptance, okay? Um, and then you'll find meaning. I think it's so beautiful. <laughs> right now is the time to find meaning, okay? Um, other things I wrote on here, you know, we'll start questioning things. Does God exist? Do I have a soul? What is the meaning of death? What do I want in my life? What is my purpose right now? What am I grateful for? All these questions, you know, if you ask, if you just ask those questions, you'll have insight. Like go within, put your hand over your heart, sit quietly and ask those questions and the answers will come eventually. Um, so I thought that was beautiful. Um, okay, in regards to Elizabeth April, I'll link her um, channel below, but I wanted to make a quick, um, you know, kind of summarize um, her channeling from the Galactic Federation who's basically Congress for the universe is how I kind of see it. Um, so check out her videos. There's part one and part two, but I just wanted to summarize a couple that I thought were pretty, pretty important. Um, so first and foremost, um, all right. So she asks the galactic, the galactic federation, will we, are we riding the planet of darkness? Reading. I'm sorry. Will we, are we ridding the planet of darkness? Also, is there anything else regarding the collapse of the matrix system? Um, council, there is an element that most do not understand. Planet Earth works on a binary system. In order to have perfect balance and harmony anywhere, there must be balance between the light and the dark. I'm learning this the hard, I've learned this the hard way. Um, this is why we Pleiadians can appreciate the mission of the dark forces. So we must respect the dark. We must respect the dark. Although it does become annoying at times, there is a false agenda on this planet of just light within the new age communities, within the new age communities. This is misleading and will actually perpetuate the frequency of dark on the planet in order to maintain balance. When each of you accept the shadow within yourself. So right now we're all doing shadow work. I hope we are, right? Are you? Um, we live har once we, each of you accept the shadow within yourself, we live harmoniously in both sides. The planet can then rid itself of extreme darkness while maintaining equilibrium. Um, your planet is currently undergoing a cleanse system, a system cleanse rather. It is needed at this time. It is all connected and needed to happen. Um, then the question was asked, you know, where did this virus come from and who made the virus? It was created by dark forces to attack the RNA within humans. This attacks the communications from the DNA to make necessary proteins in your body. 
This has the potential to shut necessary parts of the body down. Individuals who specifically have a poor connection within themselves will be weaker during this attack. This also forces people to go inward. I feel like I'm repeating myself, I know. And not only listen to their own systems, but to begin to control and strengthen communications within these systems. As a human, you are powerful enough to boost your immune system just by intending it. Isn't that wild? Awesome. Um, this virus was created a long time ago by the Chinese government and was specifically meant to be launched at this time on the planet. Their intent was to depopulate as well as to drive fears into the masses during this great awakening. What about 5G's and or 5G and tech, um, and the vaccines? The conspiracy theories around that. 5G, uh, this is the council, 5G is sim simultaneously being rolled out with this virus. Um, this is to help cover up the technology and what it is doing to the people. Fortunately, uh, there have been many issues in this pushing the 5G agenda, mainly because we won't allow their technology to work. Yay! And we are sending them through the rabbit hole to figure out why it's not working. They are attempting to um, push this agenda to vaccine everyone and take what they spray into the air and put it into your veins. Most governments will attempt to make this vaccine mandatory but will fail in their attempts. Isn't that so reassuring? I love that. I think it's absolutely great. Um, I think it's great. I think, um, again, you know, some of you kind of um, were upset that I thought this was such a beautiful thing that's happening, but um, more and more as this keeps going, I keep seeing the beauty in it. Um, yes, it's hard and things are going to be hard. Um, again, check out um, Elizabeth April, um, the, both messages from the Galactic Federation. I'll include them below. Um, but again, you know, keep your mind open right now. We have to have open minds. Um, if you don't believe in aliens and all that kind of stuff, start doing research just for fun. Why not? Um, turn off the news. You know, I feel like the news, you turn it on, you listen to every word they say. People that are against alternative media, um, they won't watch these kind of videos because they're like, oh, it's all conspiracy theorists. Is it? Is it? Is that just a story you tell yourself? You know, that's important. Um, a couple things. Have you noticed, I, I watch Netflix. Okay, so I'm not like one of those that is anti all technology. You can't be, right? I'm filming a video right now. Um, but notice the videos that they're putting out. I've noticed a lot of like symbology in them. I think the reptilian agenda right now, which I'm going to make a video on, you know, whatever. If my subscribers don't like that, that's fine. I need to get this information out. I've been learning so much about the reptilian agenda right now. I can feel it like I can see it everywhere. Anyways, so um, the movie Extraction, the show Outer Banks, uh, Code 8, like all of these uh, movies being launched on Netflix right now, um, it's just kind of a coincidence. I mean, nothing's coincidence. It's all planned. So I think that's beautiful. Um, just to close up, a few things that I wanted to um, read to you uh, to lift you up. Um, and this is when um, your attitude needs gratitude, okay? Many Buddhists believe huge difficulties are a, are a sign you're an old soul. The bigger your misfortunes, the closer you are to enlightenment. Whether you believe this or not, it's certainly cheery to reframe all your life's bad events as a test of your character. If you feel particularly tested right now, ask yourself, what the heck are you being tested for? Patience, compassion, forgiveness, resilience, open-mindedness? What strengths must you develop further? Now go out there and consciously develop them and be grateful for the lessons coming your way. I think that's beautiful. One more. When you're doubting yourself, happiness is not a race. You're not running late to be somewhere. The purpose of life is to use your time on this planet to gather insights and grow. And it takes time to treasure hunt those insights in all those dark, dark, hard to see places. It takes time to spurt growth. It takes time to become who you want to be and even know who you want to be. Um, all that time you've spent living through so far is time well spent. You've been very, very, very busy living life, gaining insights, experiencing growth. 
So everything you've gone through, don't ever look at something like a waste of time. You didn't waste time. You learned something from that. Past relationships, past traumas, past anything. Remember, you learned from that. You learned from that. And, you know, I think it's important to reflect, what did I learn from that? Write down all those horrible things that have happened to you in your life and find the good that came from that. So I got in the car crash. This is what came of that. Because there's a silver lining to everything. Uh, that's the beauty of this, you know, polar dynamic planet life that we're living, this human experience. Um, lastly, I wanted to say um, a quote that I recently posted. Um, and this, this means so much to my heart um, because it's so very true. In the past, jobs were about muscles. Now they are about brains. In the future, they will be about the heart. I think right now, I'm already at 15 minutes, well, um, you know, in the past, think about it, jobs were about muscles in the past. So, you know, cogs in a factory, all that like, you know, hard labor. Now it's about brains. So the technology, the highest technology. In the future, it'll be about the heart. And this is showing, it's proving to be true. Um, I think technology is great, but I think when it's used in the wrong way, it could destroy humanity. And so it's having that balance. It's ha creating that balance um, with, with um, you know, um, using technology the right way. Um, because, you know, when, when we lessen our human connectivity, our human connection, we hide behind technology, and then we're not our true authentic selves. So, um, you know, I, I see that being a major issue right now. Um, you know, with a lot of technologies being sent out, you know, look at Amazon right now. They're controlling the retail market. Nobody can go to the mall. Amazon's like, you know, I don't want to diss anybody. I'm just stating what I'm observing and seeing. But I love y'all so much. Stay strong. Try to laugh more. Um, you know, get in the sunlight. Um, I hear some asteroid or comets or something's coming. So they're saying not to go outside. Um, I think at least five minutes a day is good. Um, you know, sun gaze. Put the sun on your pineal gland and just gaze. And it's, and it's oh, beauty. Uh, you'll feel better. So I love y'all so much. Sorry for the long video. Um, I hope you got something out of it, but stay tuned. I'm going to be making some videos. Um, let me know what you'd like. Um, you know, overcoming fear, shadow work, reptilian agenda, draconians, aliens. I mean, there's so many topics that I'm just like, what should I post on? Like, what do y'all want to know? So let me know. Sending y'all all my love. Have a wonderful day. Love y'all.